Belle Gibson was all about clean living before she was busted. So how did she end up working for an establishment like this? Tonight, her former boss spills the beans on the serial con woman's secret job. Did you lie while you were on the stand? Isn't it about time that the truth came out? I think, Belle, you need to do the right thing here now and own up to what you've done, acknowledge it. Wherever Belle Gibson goes, scandal follows. But who could have imagined that would be to a strip joint. This is just about as salacious as it gets. Tonight, a current affair can exclusively reveal this cancer con artist had a secret job, working for an adult entertainment venue, as her former boss blows the whistle. I think she should have been straight and honest. Do you think you're dying? Yeah. Do you feel like you're dying? Yeah, and I'm fine with that. Belle Gibson is the woman who fooled the world into thinking she had terminal cancer, and she made a mint from it. When the wellness blogger was exposed, she was fined $410,000, but never paid a cent. Today, elegantly dressed and again wearing designer glasses, Belle fronted court with her high-priced lawyers, claiming she was broke and living off Centrelink payments and child support. How do you feel about Judgment Day, Belle? Gibson's reported income for 2016 was just $15,000. The next year, $20,000. But Consumer Affairs calculated that Gibson spent around $90,000 the past two years, $45,000 on discretionary spending, and $13,000 on clothing, accessories, and makeup. Excuse me. You claim to make less than you spent. How does that work? Can you tell us about how, how that worked? When asked if she could cut down on splurging to pay back part of her fine, Gibson replied, no. On the stand and under oath, Belle Gibson told the court she'd never done any work for which she'd been paid an income by a woman called Maxine. Tonight we can reveal that woman is Maxine Fensom, the owner and poster girl of one of Melbourne's most well-known gentlemen's clubs, Maxine's. But I needed someone to help me with um, an event I had coming up. So yeah, I didn't really know too much. I knew of the name, but I didn't really read anything about her previously. Maxine, who's currently overseas, spoke to us via FaceTime and claims Gibson worked for her for around five weeks in 2016, organising and marketing an adult industry awards night. How much roughly was she paid? 25 bucks an hour. And it would usually be via cheque? Uh, yeah, I think I paid her a cheque, but I also, I think we gave her some cash, but it was all through an invoice, so it was all covered, like through the books. Which would mean Belle was lying in court when anything? she said the two were just friends. Do you have anything to say about your friend Maxine? Your so-called friend? No? You didn't think someone would find out? It was also revealed that this jet setter had travelled to Indonesia, South Australia, New South Wales and Queensland on holiday, even extending her Bali trip at the cost of $1,600, but she was unable to tell the court who paid for it. She admitted the African safari trip we caught her coming home from was a gift from Clive, who she alleges is just a friend she lives with and who sometimes pays the rent. Gibson was also quizzed about the money she's earned off Airtasker. A usually composed Gibson broke down crying when talking about an elderly lady she cared for, for cash, saying that was her empathetic nature. Then there was the mysterious $3,500 Belle Gibson withdrew from an ATM last October, but couldn't say why. A lawyer from Consumer Affairs said why on earth would someone be wandering the streets with that much cash? Why did you break down in their belt? It's got some asking if they were just crocodile tears. I tried to get her to at least apologise and then put it out in the open so you could move on. And I honestly wish that she would do that. But I think that would be great for her and it certainly would give some sort of comfort for the people that have been hurt by her. Consumer Affairs now has six months to push for Gibson to be declared bankrupt or reassessed to see if they can get the funds another way.